Hey guys, Kubier TV running exalted. We will suppose keep that hand, loads of mana, only one creature that we can play earlier on, but we'll keep it. My opponent is running 79 cards, so that's always an advantage for me, hopefully. Anyway, I'm gonna do a couple more exalted videos before we move on to the next deck I've been playing a lot with, which is Ancient Wilds. And there's gonna be lots of uh, 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 with that deck because well, I don't think it works properly yet. But we could discuss that another time. Back to this game. Oh, we've got my Knight of Glory. Anyway, we will drop our Cathedral of War. Get something exalted on the payos. So he's dropped an island, so it's either Crosswinds or Dream Puppets for my opponent. We'll find out what's he got. Has he got something? We'll find out what deck it is. It is... I'm going to say Crosswinds. I don't... Oh, come on, mouse. Yeah, yeah, I believe it is crosswinds. Don't see this card that often. Anyway, uh, we need a planes down, and we will draw our Knight of Glory this turn, because he's got two. So when we drop our Squire next turn, we'll get in for slightly more damage, if he doesn't drop a creature, of course. Um, don't see that card that often, but well, this dude is running, like, a ton of cards, so... SP Kurg. Uh, I have no idea how you say that name. So yeah, we're looking okay, so uh, actually like I said in one of my videos I would bring up some of the cards this time, so that's what I'll do. Uh, Cathedral of War, tap, it's mana, and it's also got Exalted. Knight of Glory is pro-black, and is Exalted, it's a 2-1 for 2. Quickly back to this game. We will drop a Swamp, and then we will drop a Squire. We might have a Cancel, but we're not too worried, we've got another one here. The Even Squire is a 1-1 one, one for 2 with Exalted, but also has Flying. Uh, we'll swing in for the damage, you might have a repulse, anyway. Uh, Divinity of Pride, this is a 5 cost but you have to use swamps or planes. It has flying lifelink and if you've got 25 more health it gets plus 4 plus 4 for 5. So I like that card. So we've got that's my hand guys. He's played the Ring of Evos Isle. I'm a 2 cost, creature gets hexproof and it gets plus 1 plus 1 if it's a blue. And it's like your turn. So my opponent's still not done much, he's got another island for me. And Talons of Vacation! Two little flyer dudes. Not particularly fast about that right now. Uh, play here is to drop a planes. Uh, we may as well drop our other squire down. So, uh, we may as well swing in because we get one, two, three, four, so we'll be enough to be immune to being killed by any of these dudes. So, he can block or take six. This is one thing about Exalted, the rounding up takes a wee bit of time, but we're getting in here. So, is he going to block with one? Nope, he's going to take the six and go down to nine. That puts us in quite a strong position. We're still two off CAG getting one of these guys on the battlefield because, as I said, you need both planes and swamps. So hopefully we'll draw something nice next time, because we have got the mana we need. So what's he got for me? He's thinking. And he's going to draw some cards, so knock yourself out. That's a waste of a turn as far as I'm concerned, but then he obviously maybe didn't have anything in his hand. But mm, not putting power on the battlefield means I'm just going to be swinging in again next turn. For another 6, which will put him down to 3, and he's not even going to leave anything back to block. So he's confident of something strange. You should, don't know why I didn't leave at least one back to block. Anyway, we've got another Knight of Glory, so we'll drop our Swamp this turn, and we'll drop another Knight of Glory. He's got nothing to block, so we're getting in for 7 this turn. Showing in on there. Yeah, so he might, he might have drawn something and that's maybe what's given him the confidence to swing in. Maybe he's got Time Warp. He, he's not used the ring yet, so that's going to be a waste for him. And he's now got only two life left, so... And I have pretty decent power on the battlefield. So, we'll throw it back over to him, play something or lose. The good thing is he doesn't put a creature down, I can just swing in with everybody and probably win. Even though I probably wouldn't do that if he left mana open. Because he could do any kind of tricksy stuff and... So he's got another ring. That seems a waste of mana again. Four mana open, he's going to equip one of the rings. So you're going to equip the other ring as well. 
Yeah, he's going to equip the other ring. It only costs one to equip, so. And he's got two mana open for either a repulse or something along those lines. Is he going to swing in this turn? Surely you're probably not going to do that with both of them anyway. Okay, he's going to... Uh, oh, whenever a creature does damage to an opponent, you draw a card. So now he's less. He's going to swing in with one. So I could double block and kill him now. And then I could still swing in and leave him back to block. Is that a play? Oh no, well, I don't know why he's done that, because I can now win the game next turn. We're just going to double block, because I can now swing in with both these boys and do two damage. I'm just going to double block. Prevent him from drawing a card, makes no difference. I believe I've won next turn, I don't think there's anything he can do, not with one mana open. Yeah, so we'll drop that, we'll just drop one of these dudes for the sake of it, in case he's got mana leak I suppose. I don't know, I don't know what the point was that is, and then swing him with both of them. I don't think there's anything he can do. Let's have a look. Has he got something? Probably not. Nope, that's GG. There we go, guys. Exalted. Beating uh, 79 card crosswinds.